Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to an episode of Fallout 76's Hidden Treasures, the series where we take a look at locations in Bethesda games uh, that are not related to quests and try to find all of the unique, little, interesting things about them. And boy, do I have a good one for you today. This one was actually suggested by my girlfriend, whose playstyle in Bethesda games uh, usually is just exploration. She just likes walking in a direction and seeing where her adventure takes her. I'm much more like objective based, so her adventures took her east of Flatwoods over to this chicken on the map here and there's an unmarked location that I think you'll find pretty interesting so you want to go to right where I am if you want to find this for yourself Fault 76 is up here okay so you'll be treated with this little lodge we're gonna start off easy uh, this is not what I want to show you really but let's go ahead and grab anything that we can I saw there was a body here a raider corpse as well as a wooden crate and a duffel bag. Take all of that, and we'll take that. And we are over encumbered, as I figured. So let me go ahead and actually drop that shotgun that I grabbed. Uh, I think it was this. Yeah, level five. There's no reason to have this other than uh, disassembling it for some mods. Okay, so it's over there in the distance, but hold on just a second. Uh, let's explore everything. We don't want to miss anything interesting. There's another ranger outfit. There's some sleeping bags where you can get some healing and also probably some diseases. Okay, not much else here. Don't want to miss anything because that first episode or that second episode has me scared now that I might miss some really weird offshoot cabin or something. For instance, this. But I don't think this is really tied to the location. This is more of just like a cabin. So we'll check this one out, but then we'll get into the meat and the potatoes of this particular episode. Ranger hat to go with the ranger outfit. And some sugar bombs. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's get into the meat and the potatoes. We'll head back and I'll show you guys again where this is on the map, just in case you missed it. Let's turn this off. Okay, so this sort of cabin looking thing leads up to what I'm talking about, what I want to show you guys. And that is this tower over here. So let's get to the foot of it. And then I'll open up my map. Okay, so here we go. I noticed there was a really weird sound before too. Yeah, a squirrel, okay. Now that is a wily squirrel. Wow, he's able to dodge all of my bullets. Good for him. Okay, so anyways, here's the tower. Oh, there's another one. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is where it's at on the map again. Uh, right where this big, I don't know what you would call that. A chicken, whatever it is. A bird. Okay, and as you can see, it's a sort of parkour course. It's a course. Um, Tumbling Joe. Oh, cool. <laughs> and there's a unique, like dead body here, Tumbling Joe, who it would appear uh, took a tumble off of the parkour course. Okay, so we need to find the um, the starting part, and I'm not actually sure where it is, so we'll follow this all the way over, because we should be able to actually do this, and that's why I dropped off my power armor. Of course, we need to kill all these fellas, so that we can parkour in peace. Any more? No? Okay. So let's see. Where does this go? So it starts... So it looks like there is part of it, and then it goes this way. It's kind of hard to see where this stuff is. You guys can see that it's pretty elaborate here. It's not just like a small little course. So we're going to follow it all the way back, and we'll see if we can't do this. And I realize now that I have almost no more shots left for this gun. Okay, so here we go. Is this the start of it? You, like, hop on these logs, and then what? You head over here. It's like a whole course. Is, is this separate? Let me go this way. Where's this actually leading? Just goes back to the tower. Okay, so that's like a separate little thing. But interesting nevertheless. Okay, so we're going to try to do the actual course and see if we can get rewarded. I don't actually know uh, if there is a reward or not. Hopefully, Bethesda would have the insight to include some sort of reward. Can't even see them. My monitor is so dark. Okay. Enough, please. I'm trying to parkour in peace. Okay, this should be the start of it. Yeah, indeed. All right, let's put this away. Let's grab whatever this is. Purified water. Don't mind if I do. And let's go for it. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, I do consider myself pretty good at platformers, although obviously <laughs> Fallout 4 is not really considered a platformer. Not at all. Okay, it gives you another first aid box there. Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a little bit tougher. Okay. 
So far, so good. Platformers are all about- There it goes again with the music! Why is it every time when I do a Hidden Treasures? Seriously, that is like... Three for three now. I think the only one that didn't do this was the original episode. That is so odd. Okay, some dirty water there. We're heading down this way. Ooh, this one looks even tough. And then it just stops! Why does it do that every single time now? Okay. Okay, this one's kind of lost in the trees. Yeah, as I was saying, once you get the... Once you get the hang of a certain game and it's jumping style. Fallout 4 is very weird. It's got a very floaty type of jump. Okay, this is going to be even harder, I think. Okay. It's just about getting used to the engine and platformers, you know? Super Mario Bros. 3 is completely different than Fallout 4. We are so close and I see a toolbox or something. Boom. Done. First try. Okay. Neat. We got a ropes course note. They all mocked me for those nine years of gymnastics as a kid, but who's laughing now? Me, that's who. A swarm of those overgrown rodents were seconds away from gnawing me to death when I found this old ropes course. For regular Joe, escaping death up here is an impossibility. But not me. I closed my eyes and I imagined I was back on that balance beam. Easy. After I denied those bucktooth rats their dinner, I got to thinking this spot is really nice and unreachable for those lacking my superior agility. I can board it up and turn it into my own little storehouse. Great idea, I know. Sometimes I surprise even myself. Say what you will about the horrible apocalypse and all, but when you're as good as me, it's just another day at the gym. And I'm assuming that was from Tumbling Joe, who, again, looks like he... I mean, there's some blood there. <laughs> what, I guess he was trying to get back at some point and hit his head on that corner right there and then tumbled all the way to the ground. Bobblehead agility. I would say that's pretty applicable. Never be afraid to dodge the sensitive issues when you use gain two agility for one hour. Okay. We've also got a couple of first aid... I mean, if this thing's going to be like three free stim packs, that is worth more than like any other thing I could find here. Uh, disease, cures, uh, disease cure. Very nice. Some stim packs. I see a cap stash. That's going to be 17 caps. An adjustable wrench, a ball peen hammer. And it looks like that's about it. So unique note, a unique story. Uh, again, three stim packs is worth pretty damn... A lot of, a lot of caps, I would say. Okay, let's jump over here. Okay, and there it is. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I was expecting, considering this is an unmarked location. Didn't expect to find any unique weapon or anything. It seems like this game is not really doing that great with all the unique weapons and armor and stuff like that. But the unique stories are still here, as you guys can see with Tumbling Joe. And that's it, ladies and gents. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 76's Hidden Treasures. I think so far this is definitely the best one that I've done. And really, 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 I cannot talk today. Really looking... Uh, for other locations like this one. So if any of you have any suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments section below. Remember, I'm looking for not quest-related or locations that are not quest-related. Uh, basically, the idea, again, is to uh, show people locations that most people would not find because they are not quest-related, so they wouldn't go over there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Thursday for another episode. Bye-bye.